You're listening to Mana for the Day. A blessed new year po sa ating lahat. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating Mana for the Day. Let me read our verses for today in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. And it says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but they do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Marami po sa atin ang naglilista ng ating mga resolutions sa tuwing bagong taon. Ito ay maaaring mga bagay na nais natin baguhin sa ating mga sarili. Mga bagay na nais natin simulang gawin o mga skills na nais natin matutunan at marami pang iba. For us Christians, meron din po tayong pinatawag na spiritual goals. Ito naman ang mga bagay na nais natin gawin to strengthen our spiritual lives, to live in obedience to God and to glorify Him. Nakaka-excite po di bang simulang i-fulfill ang ating mga goals? Ngunit ilan na po ba sa atin ang nagsabing, ngayong taon magdatayad na talaga ako o kaya naman ngayong taon sisimulan ko na talaga mag-ipon? Or, this year, I will do my best na mag-devotion daily and umaten regularly ng life group, Bible studies, or services, and church equipment classes. Subalit so, nagdaan na ang isang taon, tatlong taon, o limang taon, pero na natiling pangarap na lang ang ating mga New Year's resolutions. And sometimes, because of neglect, our situations worsen. Yung dahil hindi natin nilesen ang ating weight for the past years, it resulted to a chronic disease like diabetes. Because we did not save, wala tayong mahugot nung nagsara ang ating kumpanya during the pandemic. Worse, dahil hindi na tayo nakakapag-daily devotion o nakaka-attend ng mga gawain sa church, nandalik na tayo sa Panginoon at unti-unti nang lumayo sa ating pananampalataya. Ang ating kong spiritual journey ay hindi naman paunahan. We do not run our race to finish first. Mahirap naman po ano. Rather, we run our race to win the prize. But how do we get our prize? Nakanood na po ba tayo ng Olympic Games? Makikita po natin sa mga athletes na they are very healthy and fit. It is because they go through very strict diet, sleep patterns, and rigorous trainings. And to be successful, kailangan po nila ng matinding disiplina. Sabi po ni Paul sa verse 25, Everyone who competes in the games goes through strict training. Ganun din po sa ating spiritual na pamumuhay. Upang maipagpatuloy po natin ang race, kailangan din natin ng disiplina. Sabi nga po sa isang quote, Discipline is doing what you have to do even when you don't want to do it. It means respecting the commitment that we make to ourselves or to others and doing whatever it takes to get it done when it needs to be done or when God tells us so. Nabanggit din ni Paul sa verse 26 na, Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. Marami po sa atin ang nalilihis sa ating spiritual walk dahil hindi malinaw ang ating layunin. Sometimes we forget the very reason why we are running our race. Wala tayong layunin at ang nalimin ang ating pagkakakilala sa ating Panginoon or we lack the desire to deepen our relationship with our God, to grow in Christ-likeness, or to seek His words more. We don't look forward to getting our imperishable crown, or to spend eternity with our Lord. Nawa po ngayong bagong taon, maging parte ng ating resolutions, ang pagtakbo ng malinaw at malalim na layunin, hindi lamang para sa premium, ngunit higit para sa kaluwalhatian ng Panginoon. Now 
Ginawa ang ating Christian journey ay hindi during LG, BS, and Friday or services lamang. We will live every minute of our lives in obedience to the Lord, no matter how inconvenient, how uncomfortable, or hard they may be. And konting reminder lang po, hindi po kinakailangan bagong taon lang tayo gumawa ng ating mga resolutions. Kung meron pong pinapagawa sa atin ang Panginoon, o kung meron pong area sa ating buhay na nais ng Panginoon na baguhin natin, we have to obey immediately. Dahil sabi nga po, delayed obedience is still disobedience. Let us pray. Father, thank you for another year para ipapatuloy ang aming takbuhin or for some of us to get back to our race. We pray that you will birth in our hearts strong desire to win our imperishable crown. May we learn discipline by your grace and may you strengthen us so that we will also be able to finish our race. Amen. And that was our mana for the day. Subscribe and follow our social media accounts for more content and be updated with Marine Christian Fellowship.